Hi there, I'm Kelsey, and thank you for watching our GCP Mindset channel. Today, we will talk about how to enroll in a clinical trial and the common reasons why. More after the intro. The ability to join a clinical trial varies from country to country and depends on the resources available. The different healthcare systems globally play a huge part in recruitment and the access and demand for quality care. There are many reasons why a person can participate in a clinical trial. There are also many different ways a person can be informed about a trial. Some examples include, a person is diagnosed with a condition or appears to meet inclusion criteria per their primary care physician, clinic, or specialist, and is given the contact information to inquire further about treatment possibilities. The individual can research online specific foundations that specialize in the indication that applies to them and contact this foundation via email or phone for enrollment opportunities. Social media groups play a role in getting the word out for recruitment of a particular trial. Although this is not controlled by regulatory authorities and not endorsed, this does need to be mentioned. A healthy person may know someone who is affected by a particular condition and may want to help. A volunteer may want to join as a way to improve the overall health of their community or worldwide. We have seen this in the case of healthy volunteers for the COVID-19 vaccination trials. Some people still may look to join due to financial incentives, but in highly developed countries, this is limited to costs accrued and closely monitored as not to impact the integrity of the trial. According to Orlando Clinical Research Center, there are four phases of clinical trials whereby volunteers are needed. Phase one, treatment is tested for the first time in a small group, about 20 to 80 volunteers, in order to assess safety and side effects. Phase two, Treatment is tested with a larger group, 100 to 300 volunteers, to evaluate effectiveness and further assess safety. Phase three, treatment is tested with larger groups, 1,000 to 3,000 volunteers, to confirm effectiveness, monitor side effects, compare with standard treatments, and evaluate any additional information to ensure the treatment is used safely. Phase four, following FDA or other applicable regulatory authorities and ethics committees approval, Researchers continue to monitor the safety, benefits, and risks of the treatment with the help of long-term research volunteers. This is also known as post-marketing surveillance. I hope you enjoyed the brief introduction to how to enroll in a clinical trial and the common reasons why. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and please comment your thoughts below. And remember, it's all about mindset, GCP mindset. Do me a favor, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you click the bell so you never miss another video.